All right, we've got a new expansion to go over, and this one's called Motherboard, and they're calling it Essential Electronic Funk. And I know a lot of people have been asking lately for a little less on the hip hop side of expansions and a little more on the electronic side. So I think those people are gonna be very happy with this expansion. I'm not getting paid to make the video, but I do get the expansion for free. I've got affiliate links. So if you wanna help me out, that's a good way to do it. But let's just make sure that this expansion is right for you and find out exactly what is in it. So retro futuristic sounds of Detroit Electro. We've got some funky chord stabs, gritty vocoders. We've got just over 60 synth presets. Uh, we'll go over those just a little bit. And then we've got 354 loops and a bunch of one shots. There's a bunch of kits. And what I would say about this expansion is that it is mostly about the kits. This one's done in collaboration with Alex Kidd. And Alex Kidd has done a whole bunch of expansions already. One of them was Infinite Escape. And I remember looking at that one thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm going to dig this one. But I started digging into it and it was really great. It was different. It's not my style of music, but a ton of really great kits in that one as well. So go to the browser. We can see that there's 46 kits in here. And I'll just give you a little, little preview. I'm gonna load up this mecha kit, so, and play something in. And you know what I'm going to do too, is I'm going to take this guy and copy it over here, duplicate it to that one. And then let's just take this one down, two more semitones. That's kind of fun. So for the next sound that I've got in here, I just found that under one shots and I went to bass there it is just kind of a good fake sounding electric bass so loaded that one up we're gonna set the polyphony to one so now now it won't let two notes play at the same time so the notes will just cut each other off put something in I want those ones to run into each other so it's not like we hear the percussive attack of the second note. So I'm going to go over to where our polyphony setting is and set it to legato. And what that means is now when I play one note and on to the next one, it's not going to do the attack of the first one. So as long as I leave a little gap between my playing, you're going to get fresh triggers of the note. But if you don't, if I play them connected, so there's something else we can do with that note while we're at it. Let's just go over to sampling and we're going to go over to page two and we're going to set our loop here on. We have to set our loop start and end point. So I'm going to set my loop somewhere around here and my end point somewhere around here. Let's see how this sounds. And we can hear that the loop isn't working. And that's probably because we have to go back over here and set it to ADSR. So now, now we can hear the loop. We'll go back to our sample. We're going to set our crossfade so we don't get that pop. And then we're going to set our end point a little tighter. There we go. That way you're going to get a sustaining note if you hold a note down longer or if you do a legato transition between the notes. Okay. And then if I want a legato passage between two notes that I didn't play that way, all I have to do is drag this note a little bit longer so it overlaps the one, the next note. And then let's just cut this 
awesome and off. Okay, let's go find some other sounds and see what we've got in this little expansion. Try a percussion. I don't think there's much in here. Oh yeah. Let's get some cowbell in there. Okay, let's go over to the software and just go to instruments and I'm going to dig up the massive patches that are in this expansion. Go to synths, go to massive and then under bank we're going to go to motherboard which is right here. Now we can just go through the, the 40 some odd patches that come with it. And we'll go to chords. And let's try maybe one, three, five, seven. And then we'll go to arpeggiator. Okay, so here is the Varus kit. So a couple of chords there. And a nice little bass patch. This looks like a sampler. Okay, fun. Let's take this bass and do something with it. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna set this to a different mode just to give you something to play around with. We're gonna to go to modes and we're gonna to go to Phrygian. Phrygian mode is like if you were to play on a keyboard, starting on all the white notes, it'd be like starting on an E. And it sounds like a minor scale, except for it's got this weird half step at the beginning. Very cool sound. Set it to Phrygian. You're going to get some different results from the normal stuff that you're doing if you're just doing major or minor. There we go. So let's just play something in with the Phrygian mode. Try this electric. I set it to chords and with the Phrygian mode on we're still going to get sounds kind of cool let's try playing around with that okay so now let's go over to the browser and we're going to look for the Monarch patches. So I'm going to go instruments and we'll go to Monarch and then drop down the banks to, there we go, 20 something patches. There you go. So playing around with the Phrygian scale on that one as well. I get to just kind of play away and know that all the notes are going to fit in with this mode. So here's another idea, a little bit more uh, full-fledged. Let's have a listen to the different kits that I've got in here. So this is the Regents kit. So some really great 80s sounds in here. So 
So there is one of our monarch patches, which is also really nice. Uh, group B. And then on group D, what do I have here? Oh yeah, I just loaded up an FM8 patch because I really wanted some 80s sounds. Really nice poly patch on that one. Next group, which was the cow catcher. What was that one? Another FM8 patch. Group F and another FM8 patch. So I've got a whole bunch of FM8 in this one. Just went with chord mode on this one. And then went to the arpeggiator. And in this case, I'm using the Dorian mode. So if I go over to chords, you can see that I'm on the Dorian mode, which is another fun minor version that's different from, uh, you know, the regular minor sound that you may be stuck using. So play around with those different modes. And uh, let's, let's actually load up one more patch and then I'll show you soloing with the Dorian mode on this one. So I'm going to go to browser. I need a good synth lead and I'm not finding a ton of good synth leads in this expansion. Let's go over to Super 8. That one's kind of fun. And then we're just going to go to Leads and then... That one sounds nice already. Nice. There's our little 80s idea that started with the Regents kit. Let's have a look at one more last idea. For this idea, I recorded some electric bass and that was kind of fun, but let's just listen to the kit first and then I'll show you the rest of it. So here's our Kilo kit. So really fun, clicky, percussive sounds in there. Let's have a listen to the next patch in here. So this is just a sampler patch from the expansion. It's under the one shots menu. And then what I did is I put it in chord mode. So keyboard mode, sounds like that. And with chord mode, I went to chord set minor six. So normally you've got it set something like this. I switched it to chord set and then went to minor six. And that's all I did, played a bunch of chords in there. And then I went to, and then these ones. Super fun chords, and that's basically the song. So these chord sets are a really great way for you to get some ideas going. So the way I did this is I set up my track. So this is my bass track that I recorded on, and then I set another group with guitar rig on it. And then what you do is you route your bass track as you're playing it into guitar rig so that you can hear your bass through guitar rig otherwise in machine there's no way for you to monitor um, the effects that you're running through which is kind of not cool so we just need a workaround so i've got a whole video on how to do that i'm not going to walk you through here but i will point you to that video in the description it's not actually that hard but it does mean that you have to set up two different groups for your guitar or your bass or whatever and the way it's recorded I've got my bass dry, so it doesn't have the guitar rig printed to it, and it's running through this in real time. So I can go over here and play around with settings. So I can play around with the settings, try all sorts of new patches, and my I will hear that in real time. So I can change it at any point. I come back to this project a year later and decide, you know what, I want a super distorted bass sound or something like that. So that's the benefit of working with Guitar Rig. I've got a little percussion loop from the library. And in this one, I've got... Another synth sound from the library as well. Just a, a sample that I'm just playing in there. So now I'm just going to pretend to play bass along with it. Make sure you go watch a whole bunch of other videos on this expansion before you drop any cash. So you know that eventually there's going to be expansion sale. But some of you might be thinking, I need those sounds right now. Hopefully this helps you decide if that's the case. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell and all that. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.